What's up, everybody? JP, all about comics. Coming back, uh, <clears throat> just a small haul video today. Um, trying out a new room in the house. Better acoustics, better lighting. We're probably moving our office up here. Just want to check it out tonight and see. Um, so last weekend we went up to visit family up in South Dakota. And there's a shop there in Sioux Falls that, <clears throat> excuse me, I used to frequent when we lived there. And they have like just tons and tons of black issues. Um, and mostly, for the most part, they're on top of, you know, everything that is current or hot or sought after. So I just kind of went in there to kill some time. I didn't really intend to spend money. Um, but, you know, I want to take a look around at least while I was there, and uh, I, going through my list, I decided to check a few, um, you know, areas that I always check when I go into a shop I haven't been to in a while. Um, so what I found here is Elephant Man number 30. Um, this is the flip book with the J. Scott Campbell back. Um, so pretty excited to find this. Uh, it was $4. There was a few other books that I had found that I didn't put back just because I didn't like the condition of them. So um, I'll keep that in my mind for my next trip up there. But uh, anyways, so I picked up three books total. And the first one being this one. Um, I was able to find this book, which I have not seen in the wild for a long time. And this is Batgirl number 14. The Art Germ cover, uh, Dracula cover. Uh, beautifully done, of course, as Art Germ does. So, you know, I was, uh, needless to say, I was very excited to see this book. Um, I actually was just like, no, no way, you know, kind of kind of blown away by the fact that it was there. So, um, I thought, well, if number 14 is there... For four dollars, I wonder if number twelve is there for four dollars. So drum roll, I guess. Huh? I think we know what's coming. Boom, number twelve. I uh, <laughs> I, said, I took a picture of it uh, with a four dollar price tag on it and sent it to the wife and was like, I don't know if I should get this or not. What do you think? And she was just like, really? Um, you know, the, I, I didn't think there would be any way, because a couple years ago I found this book in the same shop for the same price. Um, you know, and it's in pretty good condition. Uh, probably very, very fine VF condition. Um, it's got some, you know, a little bit of white along the sides there. But um, regardless, I wasn't going to pass this up for $4.00. It's my favorite cover of all time. I uh, absolutely love it. Um, anytime I see it, especially for four dollars, I'm gonna pick it up. Uh, and plus, you know, the wife needs one for her collection, so and there we go. We can share the love. So, all in all, I was just like, you know, I wish I had more time and money to spend in that shop because I bet, you know, I could dig a lot deeper and find a lot more deals. So, all in all, I just uh, wanted to share with you guys. Um, my next video will be up here in a few days. It's going to be the unboxing video of the Image Blind Box. Um, I finally got one in yesterday. I pre-ordered it back in February. So, anyways, I'll look forward to sharing that with you guys. And uh, everyone have a safe and fun day. I'll chat with you guys later. Bye.